Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have more free stuff for Unreal Engine users, and that is Megascans Trees. Now, Megascans is a product owned by uh, Quixel, which were purchased by Unreal Engine or Epic Games. And it is normally, uh, what you'd associate with them is their Megascans archive of textures, scanned items, and so on. They also make Bridge and Mixer. And one of the new assets they just added in were Megascans Trees. Now, this product makes a lot of sense to exist now because their competitor, Unity, bought out Speed Tree, which is all about creating trees and other F words in uh, the in basically any game engine, to be honest. Uh, so this is kind of the beginning of the competition to it. And this is available today in early access. Now, I swear they are trying to F with me with this particular press release. If you're regular this channel, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll come back to the press release in just a second or the blog post or whatever you want to call this. Instead, first, we're going to do some hands on. So here you can see trees, lots and lots and lots of trees. You're gonna notice there's um, movement in some of them because we've got uh, wind. So you can see that the leaves are kind of swaying. We're gonna show you how you can control that. There are a number of different trees here. Now, ironically, this pack is called uh, Black Alder, uh, but I just wanna, I, I read it as Black Adder every single time. So we've even got some shrubs going on down here too. And then we're gonna go over here. We're gonna see, uh, these are just different instances of it. So one is pivot trees and the other one is, um, Simple wind trees. We'll get back to that when we uh, we go through the release notes. So here you can see two different sets of trees. All of these have multiple different LODs, so you can easily use them uh, in your um, game, depending, like, you know, if you've got high detail, low detail, whatever. And then we've also got a manager that controls all of these trees. So we're going to come back down here and take a look at it right now. So right here, there's this guy. We're going to click it, and you're going to see, I love the little wind sock. This is kind of hilarious, because this is going to control things like wind, uh, seasons, and so on. So what we're going to do is make things windier. So let's go super windy. And then you can see our trees are going to sway even more. Super windy, <laughs> and uh, yeah, our trees are, are having a very bad day. So you see here, you've got controls over things such as uh, the wind. So here you've got almost a tornado level wind, which by the way, you can use dynamically in game. So this isn't just a bunch of tree models. It's also got uh, basically controllers for integrating those trees into your world. Also, as I mentioned early on, multiple LODs. And we'll get back to that in a sec. So here's a much more mild, but breezy wind going on. You've also got the ability to change the seasons. So we're gonna change the season strength. Uh, season brightness, saturation, and the health. So if you've got spring, fall, and so on, uh, you've got control over the color variation. Uh, I don't know what a lot of these things do, so I'm just going to randomly alter them. And here we can see some of the results on our trees in action. So it's more than just a simple tree system. Uh, you've got wind control, season controls, and so on. The other key part here is uh, I'm gonna use some of these paint, uh, those point trees as an example. I'm gonna switch over here into <coughs> mode. Um, and uh, yeah, I got a bad cough today, sorry about that. And we're gonna grab a bunch of assets and we're gonna drop them into the <coughs> type. Uh, and here we go, in you 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 go. And let's get some shrubbery. And over here, another shrubbery and another shrubbery. And then once you've got all that set up, presto, you can quickly populate a bunch of my brush intensity is insane, so I just killed my computer. Uh, so I probably wanna tune down the brush uh, paint amount. But as you can see, you can easily start, uh, so let's, let's drop that density way down, a little bit up. So you can easily start populating your forests with paint mode. And again, you do have multiple LODs, so these should run on multiple different systems. And you can see they're all being controlled by this centralized uh, controller down over here. So go back over here to select mode, switch back into select mode. And again, you have this guy here, which is doing the magic for all of the various different things. So if we wanna drop that wind back down to a very sane level, our wind is much lower and our very, very, very bushy, overpainted, way too many polygons in this scene trees uh, are now basically not moving. So you see, obviously you're getting lighting effects off of these things, the textures are being managed. It's a very cool add-on pack for sure. And if you are trying to come up with a uh, tree and <coughs> uh, kind of system for your scene, uh, this could be a good pick. Now this is early, uh, early access at this point in time. So we're back at the release right now. It's a brand new asset type unlike any we've released before, far from being just another type of <coughs> uh, our first pack available on the Unreal Engine marketplace for free. It's accumulation of extensive research, development, and iteration 
explorations on how to capture these complex and beautiful living things. In order to do justice to the magnificent of tr magnificence of trees and create a faithful adaptation of nature, our approach has been a scientific one, relying on botany and deep knowledge of how trees grow, react to light, wind, and respond to seasonal changes. The results have not just a set of assets, but also a powerful <coughs> manager material to control seasons and wind. Uh, so this right now is available as a European black alder, not adder, black alder pack. Uh, you will find early access mega trees with 22 unique models of various maturity to build a photorealistic performance. It includes nine forest trees, versions of trees that you typically find in a forest where the trees take in nutrients from sun from the top of the canopy, five field trees of the sort that would have more direct sunlight, six saplings and two seedlings. Along with the trees, we've included several new features to our <coughs> shader. In addition to the standard parameters, we've added a season and health system. Uh, this will work with your entire scene by adjusting a few sliders, which are driven by the global <coughs> actor, uh, where you will find everything related to the seasons, health, and wind in your scene. On top of these global parameters, you can also go into each material instance to fine-tune the settings on a detailed level. So there is a tutorial available to walk you through all that. And this is just the beginning. Scanning teams are busy capturing different types of trees. So if you live outside of Europe and you want to model your trees, hey, you should be able to go. Good to go. Although i got to say, as a Canadian, uh, European trees and Canadian trees look uh, very similar. Um, we're excited to continue rolling these out to you over the coming months. Mega scan trees are out of beta. We'll be making them available through Bridge to make it even easier, which is nice because the asset pack is huge. It was an eight gigabyte download. So just so you know that. Uh, finally, importantly, we want to hear from you uh, releasing this early access pack so we can gauge what you like, it's yada, yada, yada. So if you're interested, it is available. Some really beautiful um, results from it. Uh, and again, now the only downside to this thing is I could see it really being harmful for the marketplace. So as Quixel releases more and more stuff, there's a ton of trees and foliage packs on the, oops, on the um, Epic Games uh, marketplace. And you're going to find, yeah, uh, that's going to hurt those creators the more free stuff gets given away. And that's one of those things to be aware of. Mega Scan stuff is free as long as you use Unreal Engine. Also, you can get Mega Scans like as a subscription, even if you're using other systems, uh, you can get access to their stuff. Although I don't know if this one is going to qualify because quite frankly, it's got a lot of Unreal Engine specific stuff. So it may be an Unreal Engine only thing, but this is free for you to use in your game if that is a question you are wondering. It is available up on the Epic Game Store. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good polls. That's what this is still called. Uh, I will have it linked in the linked article down below. Uh, 22 trees, once again, uh, they're set up so you can paint easily. Um, nine, uh, we already covered all that. The dynamic shader, multiple LODs. Uh, and then uh, various uh, wind implementations. So there's the simple and pivot painter. So the, those are the two different kinds of trees we saw in the demo. Uh, they handle the different qualities, tiers, and wind implementations for performance tuning. Uh, all the trees are set up for painting and can be dragged and dropped with a little effort to create dense, realistic forest. Now you probably don't wanna make it as dense as I did. Otherwise uh, your Unreal Engine will ch 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 chug, chug, chug. Because if you actually go into this little clump of trees I made, uh, there's, there's a lot of trees in here. I set that up way too high in resolution. So yeah, you get an idea of just how many trees I created, and that's why my, my frame rate's uh, kind of tanking. That's designed more for painting grass as opposed to trees, so I, I kind of overdid it with that demonstration. Now, I mentioned earlier on, you do have multiple LODs. The mature trees go between 20 and 640 uh, to 1 and 13. So you can have as little as 1,000 polygons and as high as 640 polygons, depending on the trees you are using. Uh, saplings, again, uh, up to 32K from as little as 100. Uh, so those multiple LODs will make it scalable across multiple different um, levels of hardware. So mobile versus desktop versus console, AAA, and so on. And you'll notice the uh, texture resolutions are in 8 Okay, so yeah. Uh, oh, and an interesting point. This is interesting that they're starting to, to flag this now. This is UE only content. It's free for Unreal Engine, but only usable in Unreal Engine. So you cannot export this one out and use it in Godot or Unity or any other game engine. Uh, this is an Unreal only asset. So it kind of confirms my earlier suspicions. Um, It'd be interesting to see once they get added to Bridge if these will be available as just mega scan assets. But I think a lot of this really is Unreal Engine specific. So I wouldn't be surprised if that is not the case. And yeah, that is it. The new Mega Scans Trees Pack. It'd be interesting to see how fast they add more. Uh, pretty impressive. Again, another feather in the cap for Unreal Engine developers and more free stuff. And it's really high quality free stuff. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.